How you doing? This is Scott with Bait to Pin, and if you're not fishing, you're watching fishing. And thanks a lot for watching today. Here on the channel, we're gonna go over the dragon tail. Three, two, one, and go. <laughs> Bait the Bin, thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to go over the dragon tail. One thing I always researched because I fish in a river, river's fast moving, I'm getting snagged all the time. It's kind of uh, annoying, obviously, and if you've been snagged, you know it's annoying too. Now, the thing that I'm looking for is something that's not, it's going to help me eliminate or get rid of a lot of the snagging. And you know, I found that a lot of uh, folks, now I fish out of a boat, I fish off the bank sometimes. But I've been watching some kayaking fishing, and uh, those guys and ladies know uh, about getting snagged. They know about currents and uh, just because of what they're in. Kayak Catfish uh, put out a video a while back of the Larry Muse knockoff dragon tail. Um, and I'm going to, I'll put it right above, but I wanted to do this real time. He may have done it real time, I'm not for sure, but I appreciate the video and it gave me the idea to go ahead and make one myself and kind of buy the, the right things and see if we can make it. So this video, real time, making the dragon tail. Um, it's very simple. I've got a description below of everything that's needed. Uh, I got it at either Target, I think I got it at Home Depot. So uh, everything that you need, you can get at Home Depot. If not, I'll put it below. You can get everything on Amazon these days now anyway. So here is uh, what we're looking at. So I adjusted the camera just a little bit here so I won't be in the picture, but I'm gonna walk through uh, step by step of the dragon tail and how to make it at home. This is the non-cut version too. Half inch tubing, Home Depot. Three eighths on the inside. Wire connectors, they're the orange ones. Home Depot, that might be backwards, but good luck. Gorilla Glue, if you haven't heard of it, you need to hear of it. You can get it anywhere. So you wanna make sure everything is cleaned. I've already pre-cleaned this and the inside of this tube. I put a little dab on the inside. Just remember that Gorilla Glue, from my experience, I also put a little bit on here, my experience with Gorilla Glue is it expands. All you need is a little drop because it will run on you. And once you get it in there, you can spin it. Needle nose pliers. Grab them and just push them right on down in there. And they're down in there. I spun it a little bit. It's down in there. It's got Gorilla Glue on it. It is not going anywhere. The next thing that I do, drop a little bit of Gorilla Glue right in there. One drop. It'll soak on down in there. You take your eye, your eyelet. Target, Home Depot, their guides or eyelets. Go right on down in there. Screw it on in. As, as much as you can. Get it down in there really nice. The thing is, is once that Gorilla Glue sets, these things aren't going anywhere. I haven't had, I've had mine for a month and I haven't had a problem. And once that Gorilla Glue sets, 
you're golden. Now, before we do anything with this end, Daisy BBs. That's what I got. Uh, you can get them anywhere. I found that Target or Walmart has it for the less expensive amounts. Everything that I purchased here is roughly about 20 bucks. So, um, I am making, I made, I've made 10 of them already at different lengths. Um, I've made them at, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these BBs now. I put them in a different container. I took these and I put them in a smaller container. You can use a funnel. I have a funnel. I found that it gets clogged with these BBs really easy. I found that if I use my hand and just grip over it, they fall right on in there. And you want to fill it up. Oh, oh, I got some other stuff in there. You want to fill them up about halfway. Get those out. So I'm filling them. I must have put some other stuff in here. Look at that. Wondering where those were. There we go. BB's going in. And again, about halfway. It's about four ounces. I don't want that in there. However, we're good to go. Um, that's about, uh, as you can see, got about three quarters in there. I think we got all the swivels out. Again, dumping. Like, I believe it's easier with my hands, but uh, that's totally your call on how you want to work that. I just put it into a smaller, it's easier. So, half of it, I cut these into 15 inch, 22 inch, and 30 inch. I think my tube was about a 20 foot tube. Inside is 3 8 outside half inch. Half of it with the BBs, the other half open for air. Point of that is, is it's gonna float underwater if this part's going to stay above this part, obviously. This part's... I put this in here because I can add weight to this if I want to. Then I'll put another one with a hook. Eyelet on top. So now it's full. I've got it about half. These are about three to four ounces. Obviously, the longer they are, the more you can put more BBs in there. But you definitely want to leave half for air so that it's bouncing along at this kind of rate. So we'll go ahead and grab our second connector. We will throw some Gorilla Glue on there. Again, it, it, uh, mine is sitting out here in the garage so it's, it's easy to get in here. We get it spun around and spin it around a little bit. It goes in real easy. Okay. Now what I do is I'm going to grab my second eyelet. As I'm screwing that in, actually, you know what we're going to do? Let's put a little drop of uh, Gorilla Glue on top. Again, not a ton. Because this stuff expands once it dries. My experience, again... I'm going to, before I screw that in there, I'm going to push that down in there a little bit. So it's pushed down in there. So it's fully that wire connector. Sorry about that. That wire connector is all the way down in there. Now I'm going to screw that in. And folks, as that's getting screwed in there, Definitely want to hold on. So I've got an eyelid on this end, half of it with BBs, the other half the connector with another eyelid. And we've got we've got ourselves a dragon tail. 
This is the knockoff version, the homemade version. I made 10 of these. And the total cost of everything included is about $22. So you do the math, it's about a couple bucks each. And I'm pretty sure they're more expensive than that online. So if you like uh, messing with things and making little projects like this, so do I. I'm Scott with Bait the Bend. If you're not fishing, you're watching fishing. I appreciate you watching. Please give me comments below. Give me a thumbs up. If you're going to crush it, please give a comment of why you gave me a thumbs down. I always appreciate learning. Uh, hit that bell. Notifications are coming your way. This is Scott with Bait the Bend. If you're not fishing, you're watching fishing. This is the knockoff dragon tail. You guys have a great night. Don't forget to watch some of these other videos. They're somewhere.